plaintiff Stefan Howard is a party planner, and he hired the defendant to help him plan a Frozen-themed children's party. However, the defendant ruined the decorations, destroyed the cake, and his girlfriend who came with him got drunk and made a scene. He's suing for breach of contract. Defendant Edward Virgin says he's been doing business with the plaintiff for 10 years, and they've never had a problem. Edward insists he did everything Stefan hired him to do, so he denies owing for anything. And he's countersuing for breach of contract. We'll start with you. Okay. Well, I've, I've known Edward for about 10 years. Um, he's an artist around town. Uh, he's done he's plenty an artist? Of work. Yes, sir. So um, I, I was hired to uh, do a paint and sip party, a frozen theme paint and sip birthday party. So I figured, a frozen you know, theme, you yes, think? Sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I figured, From the you know, movie was, Frozen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was the best man for the job. But uh, evidently, it was his brain that was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, Your Honor. How did you come to believe he was the best man for it? Well, uh, because of the work that he's done for me okay. previously and others. I've also bought some pictures to show you. All right. Pictures of the good uh, work or the work he yeah, messed yeah, up? Yeah, that's, that's the good stuff. All right. Good stuff he's done for me in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my barber shop. Uh, he's excellent, excellent yeah, guy. Nice. Excellent artist. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, he was in charge of the decorations for the party, uh, mm -hmm. designing the cake, and also teaching the kids to paint Olaf, the little snowman from the movie mm -hmm. Frozen. Um, everything was just all the way off. There were supposed to be 200 balloons. There were supposed to be arches. So mm -hmm. here's uh, uh, more pictures of the materials. That's what the balloons right. should have been. The pre that's what he brought me in the middle of the party. A bag? bag a bag full of unblown up balloons. <laughs> in the middle of the party, Your Honor, in the middle of the party, he walks in and says, here's the other balloons. There was, a, there was supposed to be blue lights. There they go. He brought them to me in the middle of the party. Snowflakes, they were supposed to be glittery. I was hired to uh, do a paint and sip party, a frozen theme paint and sip birthday party. So I figured, a frozen you know, theme, you Yes, think? sir, yes, sir. I figured, From the you know, movie he, Frozen. Yeah, he was the best man for the job. But uh, eventually, it was his brain that was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Plaintiff Stefan Howard hired the defendant to help him plan a frozen themed children's party. But the defendant ruined the decorations and destroyed the cake. So he's suing. Sir, let me hear from you. Well, most of the stuff he said is right. Like he said, we've been doing business for about 10 years now. I've done a lot of work for him. I've never had a problem with him paying. He told me to get the supplies. He told me what he wanted. So everything was a go. We get to the party. I didn't know he wanted me to blow up the balloons. <laughs> Your Honor. Especially when I had to do the backdrop, a uh, ice cutout of the little girl's name, and the cake. Okay. Now the cake, he gave me the cupcakes the day of the party to put this cake together to look like a four, the number four. Okay, is that so, true? Now these are things but that But at the had, same time, he had me looking for a smoke machine these, too. These are things, <laughs> these are things Right that, before the party. These are things that we had all discussed. There was plenty of time. We discussed this party a month in advance. Uh, in reference to the balloons, Your Honor, the day before, I told him, I said, man, it's like you got a lot on your hands. Give me the balloons, I'll help you. He said, I have to blow them up all in the same size so I can form the arc. This is something I need to do. This is what he told me. It's something he needed to do because they all had to be the same size in order to form the arc. What did you all arc. say about it that morning? Could I object? No. <laughs> what did you say about it? What did you say about it that morning that at morning, 9 a.m.? He brings me 40 balloons. He says mm -hmm. the other ones are almost done. So the, the, the kids were supposed to paint on easels like mm -hmm. this. And if I, I believe I hand you the picture already with the palm on my hand. Okay, what were they to look like? They were to look like these. How did the easel fit in the palm of your hand? That's how you small they were. That's what he brought for these children to paint on. This is what was requested? Yes, sir. And this is what you received? And that's what I received. What do you say to this, sir? I sent him a picture of what I ordered before I ordered it. All right, what else, sir? So he was supposed to teach the kids to draw the snowman from Frozen. Your Honor, this is... Here, I'm sorry, Doyle. It's supposed to look like that, I think. This is the That's the actual, snowman. Yeah. Look at that snowman. The parents started to ask him, <laughs> Your Honor, the, 
the parents, the parents started to say, they're like, who is that? Is that Jack Frost? He's like, oh, this the snowman off Pulaski. He, he, he. Dude, <laughs> these, that's not funny. It's not funny at all. You know what I mean? What else, sir? So he brings, he brings his girlfriend to the party. She's here. The parents of the party, they had a, a bottle of wine in the back. So 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes after she's there, now this lady's like, hey, where, where'd my wine go? This woman has went in the back and drunk all of these people wine. <laughs> now she's drunk in the party. She picking up the kids' coats. She doing this, she doing, they study saying, who was this woman? Nobody knows her. Nobody knows who she is. She just going around, just doing just all kind of crazy stuff. How you know what I mean? End? Did someone so, speak to her or what? Uh, I spoke to him, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I spoke to him like, hey, you know, say, man, we all, you know, whatever, you don't, know, that just, mm -hmm. it was, I was so embarrassed, Your Honor. And the the birthday cake. Breaches, uh, the birthday cake. He brings cake. the birthday cake mm -hmm. in the party on a paper bag. First of all, it was parchment paper. Dude, you'll see yourself. This is all right. No, no, no. That's what it's supposed to look like. Look at the one he did. <laughs> I thought that was the one he did. Yeah. That's what it should have looked like, and that's what I got. Now, he's never showed me that first picture. That's what I got, Your Honor. And he wanted the Frozen theme. The frosting was pink to begin with. Now I'm trying to make it look like ice with pink frosting. But the, the, what it was, Your Honor, he and didn't have And it was cupcakes the... I had to assemble to make it look like one cake. Uh, no. To make it look like so a an artist, not a baker. So far, all your work, all your work is substandard. I don't know who drew these. Yeah. I don't believe you did this. Yeah, Your Honor. Your Honor. So, I don't believe you did he it. He did it. Let me show you something. He did it. I don't it. believe that either. All right. Right. Yeah. Didn't do all that. All his work in there is my work. You didn't do that. So, Your Honor. All the work in his shop, I did. You didn't do that. And we keep coming back to me. Let me Your Honor, and I'll be back. We keep coming back, spending this money with and, me. Hey, and after I win this case, I'll be back It's just something him. with him and this girl no, that he don't want to pay me. It's something you made the wrong choice of the wrong job to take. Yeah. You know so, you so shouldn't have taken this Your Honor, job. Final straw. Let's get to the final straw. Now, I'm at a party. There's four or five-year-olds. There's mothers, missionaries in here. This guy goes back there, makes them two plates, and says, I'm finna go get high and eat all of this. <laughs> Why would you say this to a bunch of three and four year olds? Your Honor, the pe they were so upset, I had no choice but to reimburse them half of them. Who were upset? The three and four year olds? No, the parents. The, par the, the parents were okay, upset. All right. The parents were much. upset. Right, the parents okay. were upset. The children, they were, you know, they were running around. They were so having fun. So you asking for all your money back? Is no, that sir. what you're I had to reimburse some text hold messages. On, hold on. <laughs> I, I, they paid me $1,000 for the party. I had to reimburse $500. Okay. I, I'm suing him for the $500 I lost. I believe that his lack of professionalism is You the did pay $500 out? Yes, I gave it back to the parents. This woman has went in the back and drunk all of these people wine. <laughs> now she's drunk in the party. She picking up the kids' coats. She doing this, she doing, they study saying, who was this woman? Nobody knows her. Just all kind of crazy stuff, How you know that what I mean? Uh, I spoke to him. Plaintiff Stefan Howard hired the defendant to help him plan a Frozen-themed children's party. But the defendant ruined the decorations and destroyed the cake. So he's suing. Let me hear from you now, sir. Okay. <laughs> now. Let me get my t-shirt first of all. <laughs> oh, you got that before you decide. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. Yeah, get okay. this before I go in on you and you, <laughs> and you take it back. This is sharp. This is sharp, dog. <laughs> Good nice. job. Great job. Okay, now first, let me explain about this little snowman thing. I'm teaching the class, right? The kids, they just get to paint and get to doing whatever they want. So they ain't paying attention no more, so I'm going around table to table with each kid, making sure that they doing something creative. They didn't have to draw Olaf no more. They having fun drawing what they drawing. And who am I to make them paint when I'm painting? So I said, okay, go ahead, y'all do that. I just finished the little snowman. I just threw it together, really, because they wasn't paying no attention. But that's not what the parents paid for. They paid for you to draw They didn't draw pay for me to teach Olaf. art class. I threw that in for you. How is that? That's what the party was. The whole was. party was to help you. It was you. a paint and sip party. It was a paint First and sip party. First of all, who has a paint and sip party with kids? <laughs> <laughs> who, 
That's what I wanted exactly. to sip so, what? Juice. Here's the picture. That's, that's why I didn't charge I, you that uh, much in the first place. No, I Because I, I was I trying to deal guy. with you on a reasonable yes, level. Yes, I did. I did. I know I did. Like but I said, he, he just said you were trying to take him to cool. another level. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to do. I yeah, want the west side of Chicago. We're going to do something. The lowest level. Exactly. That's what he's trying to do. Exactly. He told me he took classes and he can do it all. I trust so you him. Dis- if, your, the mistake yeah. you made was trusting, trusting yourself. Him. What is your defense to the $500 and what is your counterclaim for for $140? He only paid me what? $270, that was for And that was supplies. too much. She paid you $270 too much. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Way too much. Let me explain. <laughs> Remember, I did the cake, the backdrop, and I did the ice did cut all out wrong. of the girl's name. Everything you wrong. Every still, bit in of materials wrong. alone. Thanks. You all had a contract. Uh huh. You committed a material breach of the contract, meaning the work was so substandard that it canceled out any value. When you have a material breach, you can have a slight uh, mess up, didn't quite do it here, didn't quite work out here, small things. But when the overwhelming majority of the work is shoddy, that's a material breach. And the overwhelming majority of the work you did for him was shoddy and substandard. Your art, your fine art is so nice that I'm tempted to take a couple of them, blow them up, and frame them. Yes, sir. At my house as yes, originals. Sir. You do a great job. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to get your information. But on this doc, I'm not going to let you do anything for my granddaughter, Norris. <laughs> I promise you that. Exactly. Oh, wow. Judgment for the plane if your claim is dismissed. Thank Have you, a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, man. Thanks again. This is a, he's a very good artist. I, I, I definitely have more work for him to do. Hopefully this don't kill us. But uh, I just think he needed to... He was, he was responsible. He needed to pay. I did what he asked. All I could do was what I had to do in the time I had.